What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode 48 of Convo Breaker, a geek podcast. I am your host, Mario Valdez, and uh, let's just get into this because uh, some crazy uh, stuff happened uh, this week. We got surprise news out of nowhere. I mean, it took everybody by surprise. Um, we're getting Avengers Infinity War one week early. Originally, it was supposed to release May 4th, but uh, all of a sudden, when was it two days ago, we found out uh, that it's coming out. Well, no, was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. We found out it's coming out uh, April 27th worldwide, um, which is insane. So, I mean, there was already hype for it. I mean, there's been hype for it for the past couple of years since it was announced. And now it's even more insane to see that the date's April instead of May now. Like, at first, when I saw it, I was like, oh, we're getting it a whole month, you know, ahead of time. But it's only a week, which is it's still cool. That means tickets should be going on sale soon. Um, so digging into this news, um, for those of you guys who don't know or who just started listening to this podcast or who don't know anything about Avengers uh, or Avengers Infinity War, uh, this is going to be the biggest uh, superhero team up on the screen like in the history of cinema so it's gonna be pretty insane i mean you're gonna have spider-man of course team up with the the core avengers uh, that we had in the uh first movie and then also too you're gonna throw the guardians of the galaxy in there and then some new characters um that are gonna be joining the mix too um, you know you're gonna have doctor strange in there and just it's gonna be insane um so I was I was going into the news and uh, I found out that uh, the Russo brothers decided to go ahead and push the uh, release date ahead so that there wouldn't be any spoilers for us because we were going to be getting it a week uh, after it showed I think in Europe or the UK or something like that. So basically they wanted to put everybody on an on an equal playing field field, which was pretty cool of them to think of the fans like that because, um, you know. Whenever somebody gets to see it first, no matter who it is, automatically, where does it end up online? And then, of course, everyone, you know, nowadays, I mean, we kind of live online, whether we like to admit it or not, whether it's on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or whatever. Um, somebody's going to post something about it and somebody's going to accidentally see something about it. So uh, I think that's pretty cool. I mean, it's awesome news, you know, to get it ahead of time. And it's awesome uh, to see that that's why they did it so um, april 27th is going to be the worldwide release so everybody is going to get it at the exact same time which is pretty fucking sick um i can't wait to see this movie uh of course i'm going to do a uh, review on it or i'm just and i'm going to do an episode where i just talk strictly uh avengers infinity war when it comes out i'll be there opening weekend if not opening night um because i like to get my uh, MCU tickets uh, pretty uh, pretty early. Usually, usually I like to go uh, the day after opening night. Uh, I try to go within opening weekend so that uh, I, I like to be around the the geek crowd or you know the Marvel fans. Um, it was pretty crazy because I didn't I don't think I said this last episode, but when I went to go see Black Panther, that was one of the rare showings that I went to where. Only a few people got up and left after the movie ended and stayed, uh, and pretty much everybody else stayed for the, uh, for the after, uh, credits, uh, or stayed for the credits, I should say, or during the credits. It was like 90% of the theater, I think, or more than that, of my theater that, uh, my showing that stayed, um, and it was, it was a, a sold out, uh, showing too, which is pretty insane, because usually I go and you see, like, everybody get up and you see, like, I don't know, like maybe a handful of people scattered like throughout the throughout the the cinema. But uh, uh, Black Panther was was pretty crazy because uh, maybe maybe you saw a dozen people walk out and everybody else stayed. Um, so and it all goes to that. I mean, this is pretty much a countdown to Infinity War. I mean, it, it was it's it's been ticking since the new year uh, rang in. Um, but yeah, Avengers: Infinity War. Let me know uh, if you're excited to see it. Let me know if you're going to see it opening weekend. Um, like I said, hit me up, uh, convobreaker at gmail.com. You can always hit me up on Facebook uh, at Convo Breaker Geek Podcast. Hit me up on Instagram, MB7.0, or Convo Breaker GP. 
um so yeah you can hit me up on all those I, there's a twitter too i don't really post too much on twitter but if you'd like me to be more engaging on twitter uh let me know on any other other uh, social media sites uh still speaking avengers infinity war there's actually uh i didn't see it yet i was gonna instead of talking about it and and watching it and talking about it i i really wasn't too sure what it was i took a quick glance at it i'll post it on the facebook page though there was a countdown to infinity war uh there was some kind of video that uh, Marvel and Disney released, um, so I'm kind of curious to what that is, because I know there was a prequel uh, comic book to Infinity War that came, I don't know if it's out already, I'm pretty sure it is, but supposedly it like reveals like what happened to the Red Skull, that like he's still alive or something, which everybody kind of thought he was, So, um, so and still sticking with Infinity War, of course. Um, another reason why supposedly they did this, I, I don't think this is the reason. I think the first reason I said is the reason why they did it. But supposedly why they did this was uh, because if they would have done it May, May 4th, it would have also been going against uh, Deadpool. Uh, and it also would have been going against a Solo, a Star Wars uh, story. But, I mean, we both know what would have came out on top anyways. Um, and then on top of that, Avengers Infinity War and Solo um, are both Disney uh, property, so it doesn't matter. Both of that, both of that box office intake is going to be going to the bank. Um, so that's kind of weird how, how, uh, I mean, I guess they didn't want to compete with Deadpool too much. I mean, it'd be cool to give everybody some room too, to, you know, cause I think it's like a, a they gave us like a week or two, uh, buffer between, uh, Infinity War and Deadpool, which is cool. Cause I'm going to see Deadpool when it comes out too. So I'm kind of glad they're not coming out like the same week or the back to back weeks. Um, which is pretty cool because it'll give me, you know, a little time to get over Infinity War. Because knowing me, I'll probably go see Infinity War more than once. Um, I did see the original Guardian, Guardians of the Galaxy, I think, three times. Two or three times. And uh, Avengers, I might have seen twice. I'm not sure. But uh, Avengers Infinity War, I'm planning on seeing uh, multiple times. So, like I said, if you're uh, if you're super hyped to see that, let me know. I mean, this, this news just came out of nowhere. Um, it was kind of like Christmas came early. I, I just saw April and I was like, holy shit, like pretty awesome. So sticking with uh, Avengers and MCU stuff, uh, I actually have a bit of James Gunn news, which is really crazy. I had like three pieces of James Gunn uh, news come out that I thought was interesting to talk about. Uh, one of them, you know what? All of them have to do with Guardians of the Galaxy, of course. Uh, the first one I wanted to talk about was James Gunn uh, actually shared um his awesome mix volume zero uh, on spotify um and it's pretty crazy i took a look at the list uh, in case you guys want to see it just um i guess i'll post that on facebook too i just took a quick glance at it and uh, he has a uh, andrew wk on there uh Gogo bordello uh mindless self-indulgence uh i think there's like 10 or 12 tracks on there um so if you guys are interested in that it's pretty crazy it's a i guess it's a i don't know it looks a little more uh Mm, I don't know to say. I guess a little more hard alternative. Like it's a harder alternative than the stuff that you know was on before. Before it was a little more, uh, uh, not pop, but uh, whatever. Just go check that out in case you want to. You know, want to check that out. It's on Spotify. Um, so that's gonna be Volume Zero. I remember uh, when Volume One came out. Uh for the first movie uh i bought that so i contributed to that uh soundtrack charting which is pretty cool another piece of james gunn news so this is pretty crazy in case uh, i mean i i don't know if i should say spoilers or not i mean if you haven't seen uh guardians of the galaxy by now then you know that's kind of weird but uh james gunn said that of course well i don't know how of course could be could mean two different things here when I say it, but James Gunn says that yes, Groot Groot is dead. Of course, he died in the first movie, but that Baby Groot is not another version of Groot. What he, which was I, which is what I thought he was. Um, and so he uh, was talking in an interview and uh, stated that uh, Baby Groot is actually Groot's son, which is uh, pretty crazy. I yes i mean i i don't know uh what really that means i mean i mean of course 
I, I he's not going to have any of Groot's memories because um, I think that was confirmed anyways. So, um, yeah, that's just, just an interesting fact, I guess, about Groot. So if anybody was interested about Groot or, you know, just a little fun fact or whatever, uh, that's Baby Groot's, uh, I mean, Baby Groot is Groot's son. So uh, I guess, yeah, that's pretty interesting. Uh, another one more piece of James Gunn news. So Mark Hamill, we all know, is uh, Luke Skywalker, voices the Joker on uh, multiple, uh, 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 multiple, formats yeah that's that's the good word that's a good word to use formats uh it, he uh was talking in an interview and stated uh that he was interested in being part of guardians of the galaxy 3 and we all know sometimes there's actors that want to be part of the mcu or they want to be part of the dceu and they start campaigning for roles uh, for superheroes for upcoming movies um for instance ronda rousey when she was going uh, she wanted. She was campaigning for the role of Captain Marvel before uh, they cast uh, Brie Larson. Um, so, anyways, Mark Hamill said that he wants to be part of Guardians of the Galaxy uh, uh, Volume Three, which I thought would be pretty cool. And actually, James Gunn is interested in getting uh, Mark Hamill in there. So we all know James Gunn is going to finish that trilogy, and if he can squeeze Mark Hamill in there in some role, I mean, he squeezed all kinds of people, you know, in the second one. I mean, we had a uh, Sylvester Stallone in that in that movie and you had a whole bunch of cameos like for those of you guys who didn't know and uh, maybe you're gonna say what the fuck when I say it but Miley Cyrus was in uh, Gardens of the Galaxy Volume 2 so there was people there was quite a bit of people you know big names that he squeezed in there um, but uh, yeah if, I mean even I too it'd be hilarious because I mean of course it's a Disney property too. It would be hilarious if they threw like a like literally a Luke Skywalker uh, cameo in there, like having Mark Hamill as Luke Skywalker, and it would be fucking hilarious. Um, and I think it'd be possible too. I mean, it's I don't know. I just uh, it, it'd be it'd be funny. So I th I thought that was that was kind of cool. The the fact that James Gunn is you know heard that and he's interested. Uh, I don't. I, that, that's got to happen. I mean, I can't see a reason why not. Um, I, I'm pretty sure James Gunn will, will make that happen. And that's a cool, uh, uh, I guess, not an Easter egg, but it's just a cool thing to, to you know, throw in there uh, as far as uh, it goes with uh, pop culture and stuff. Because we all know, uh, you know, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy not, not, was not only, uh, not, I don't want to say based off of pop culture, but... It had its pop culture references, and it, it itself contributed to pop culture. So to have Mark Hamill in there kind of makes sense. Uh, let's go on to let's see. I guess let's stick with Marvel. Um, if anyone's watching Agents of Shield, I am. I'm. I'm still a fan of the show. There's a lot of people that are like, "Oh, the show sucks," and and you know, first season sucked. Blah blah blah. Okay, if you stopped watching. Uh, when the first season came out, which is what I did, um, and you didn't go back, which is what I did, I went back. Uh, the seasons not only got better, but the the production and the writing got better after season one. Actually, the end of season one was when it got was when it started getting good, and it never really let me down after that. It kept me engaged. Uh, season five came off of a hiatus uh, tonight. Um, so I gotta watch that, uh, the new episode, uh, tomorrow, I'll watch it tomorrow, um, I'll, I'll catch up on Hulu, uh, but the reason why I'm bringing up Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., uh, aside from telling you guys that you should catch up on it, you know, cause, well, for one, Ghost Rider was in last season, uh, but anyways, um, the season five finale, cause we're already in the second half of season five, it, uh, started tonight, um, they're writing it as the series finale in case it doesn't get picked up for a series, si uh, yeah, for season six, um, which is pretty interesting. And if you want to catch up five seasons, is really not much to catch up on. It really isn't. I think I've caught up on more. Um, so Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., uh, it, it would really be, uh, shitty, uh, if, uh, season five was, was their last one there. And tonight I think is episode 99. Next week is going to be their episode 100. So they'll be hitting the 100, uh, episode, uh, milestone, uh, next week, uh, which is going to be pretty cool. So like I said, I suggest you catch up on agents of shield. I, it just sucks because it looks like this season is not crossing off with 
crossing over uh, with any of the events that are happening in the MCU. Because the last one, I think there was two two seasons crossed over with events in the, in the MCU um, films. And that was uh, during Winter's Captain America Winter Soldier. Uh, there was kind of an event that spilled over into Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and then also uh, I think uh, Age of Ultron. Uh, there was a kind of a spillover uh, event on that too. But I'm surprised there's nothing here. But then again, just to throw a little, I guess, a little bit out there. Um, season 5 has to do with time travel. Uh, so... I mean, I don't know. It would be cool to even see a nod to Infinity War at the end, but I guess it would be kind of hard since, not, you know, yeah, this season should still be going, should still be going on uh, when Infinity War comes out. So I don't know. Hopefully, there's some kind of cliffhanger that. Oh no, actually, there won't be a cliffhanger hanger because they're writing it as a series finale. Uh, well, anyways, uh, Edges of Shield, check that out. Uh, let's go into some more Marvel stuff. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, okay, so this is crazy. Oh, damn it. That's what I was going to do. I was going to get the dates for this. Um, so I don't know if anyone was interested in watching, uh, the Fox, uh, New Mutants movie. Um, I was really interested when that first trailer came out. I think it came out in October, I want to say. Um, and it was supposed to come out, I believe, I think it was supposed to come out this month, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but anyways... It was just crazy because uh, it got delayed, it got pushed back, and uh, um, and then that's when they pulled Deadpool forward. But the crazy thing is that there's a report that came out saying that the reason, well, okay, originally it was pushed back because uh, they said they needed to do reshoots, which is fine. Usually when movies, you know, are going through shit and they push back a release, uh, one one of the main reasons is reshoots, um, which is pretty shit. Um, but this one was really this is really weird because i've never heard of this situation before and one of the reasons that they uh said uh that the reshoots were occurring was because they were adding a new character and i was like what the fuck like the movie was done um i guess they were in post-production doing any i guess special effects stuff that they needed to do and um they uh yeah they pushed it back to add to do reshoots to add a new character and if that's true that's really fucking weird like i mean you have the movie done i mean i guess if you have the money to do it sure but i would think well i mean of course reshoots are gonna fuck up a movie in one way or another but um this is like to me it feels like a bigger blow than a regular regular reshoots um i mean they're they're putting in a new character into the story which is kind of I don't know. I think that's stupid. Um, I was really interested in watching this movie. Now uh, I kind of I'm losing interest. Um, it makes me feel like uh, maybe it's not going to be as good as I thought it was going to be. Because um, the same thing happened with uh, Solo, which I talked about earlier, which comes out in May. Uh, Solo, the Han Solo, uh, the Han Solo Solo movie. Um, same thing with that one. Uh, they fired, of course, they fired a the director. They got. Uh, Wow, what's his name? Uh, wow, I forgot his name. Anyways, they got him to pretty much redo uh, Ron Howard. There you go. They uh, pretty much got him to redo pretty much like it was more than like 75% of the movie. So um, I don't know. I'll still see it when it comes out. Um, I don't have too much hopes for it like I did before. So uh, we'll see what happens with New Mutants and with Solo. Let's see what else we have here. Da, 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 da. You know what? Let's stick with Fox and Marvel. So, of course, uh, Disney bought uh, Fox. So, Disney is going to have the rights to whatever Marvel characters Fox had. But there's still time for the... There's still some time to go by before the contract officially kicks in. Um, what's really weird is that Fox is milking it. and they're, They announced that they're going to release... To me, this sounds like too much, but they're going to announce, they're going to announce, they're going to release uh, three X-Men films in 2019 and three X-Men films in 2020. Uh, I I mean, it sounds like a lot, but then again, you have to think that X-Force is supposed to come out. Maybe they're going to throw in a Deadpool 3 to finish the trilogy. Um, 
I can't see them doing another like X Men movie with uh, with Jennifer Lawrence uh, unless they're thinking of like a New Mutants two or something. Because I think there was a report too that they were working on New Mutants two and New Mutants hadn't even come out yet. So maybe those might be two of them that uh, that are that are that uh, that are on the schedule. Um, I, there are, of course aren't any details, but I mean, what else could it be, especially since they're X Men films? And then another thing that Fox is doing, which is weird, is they're they're working on a Silver Surfer movie. Um, why? Like, if we want to see Silver Surfer, or we want to see him with uh, Marvel in the MCU with the Fantastic Four. I mean, it's just uh, weird what Fox is doing. Maybe Fox is well. For one, I I guess they're trying to milk, they're trying to milk it while they have it. You know, trying to get what they can out of these characters while they still have them. But maybe it's some kind of competition thing. Where, I mean, it's not going to be a competition thing, I guess, anymore since they're not going to have the studios anymore, uh, the movie studios. But oh, ooh, excuse me, I was thinking. Maybe they're gonna try to like sabotage, sabotage the characters, so that uh, by the time Marvel releases them, no one's gonna care. But you know what? That's never gonna happen. I mean, we had Spider Man with Sony, and then we got Tom Holland in uh, the MCU, and nobody was tired of him. I mean, everybody was like, "Yeah, Spider Man." So I guess it doesn't matter. I guess we're just gonna have multiple versions of these characters. Which I mean, I guess honestly, whatever Fox is putting out as far as uh, I guess anything outside of, of uh, X-Men, I really don't care. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if they did something and they announced another Fantastic Four reboot, which would be fucking stupid, but, I mean, it's Fox. Um, I don't know if they're as bad as Sony, but I wouldn't be surprised if they did that. Sticking with movies, uh, this is a quick little uh, punch. Uh, there was an episode we had a while back that uh, we were talking about uh, that there was a Dora the Explorer uh, live action movie in development, and that uh, and that Michael Bay was supposed to direct it. So that's uh, scrapped uh, for anyone who's interested. Uh, they got a release date for the movie now. It's going to be August second, twenty nineteen, and it's going to be by. They have a director now. I didn't get his name, but the director is the same guy who did uh, Muppets Most Wanted and. Alice in Wonderland uh, through the looking glass so if any of you guys are fans of those movies or if any of you guys have kids and uh, or if you remember Dora the Explorer and you want to see it just for the hell of it uh, that movie is going to be coming out August 2nd 2019 at least that's the date that they have uh, for it now let's go on to a couple more pieces of movie news and then I'm going to go into video games and then I'm done this is going to be this will be a short episode half an hour just about half an hour um what we have here okay so this is kind of stupid i guess they announced it today i think uh, a zorro reboot is in development and i'm like who cares i think the last zorro was if i'm correct the one in the late 90s with uh oh my god what's his name i'm just gonna say desperado because i forgot his name but um who cares i mean it I mean, I don't care. Are you guys? Do you guys care? It's kind of like Robin Hood. Like, who the hell? Who the hell cares about Robin Hood? Like now, like I don't want to see a Robin Hood movie. It's the same thing with like Merlin and shit. I don't like uh, what's it called? Uh, Merlin and uh, oh my god, can't think King Arthur and shit like that. Like, if if you are and I'm wrong, then let me know. If you're interested in seeing a Zorro movie, um, I don't know. I just. I mean, I guess it's whatever. I mean, there's got to be some kind of uh, market for it, right? Can't all be a uh, comic book shit, right? Uh, going on to more comic book movies. So this was another piece of news that was uh, released uh, two or three days ago. Wonder Woman 2, they confirmed that the uh, villain is going to be Cheetah. But uh, this was weird. Well, to me it's not weird, but... Um, rep- there's a report saying that Kristen Wiig uh, is in talks to play Cheetah. And if you don't know who Kristen Wiig is, uh, Ghostbusters reboot, uh, Bridesmaids. Um, what other movie was I going to think of? Oh, well, she was on SNL and stuff. So, yeah, Kristen Wiig. Um, so, yeah, she's in talks to play Cheetah. I'm actually... I don't know too much about Cheetah. I mean, I know the character, though. But um, I think that'd be pretty uh, interesting if uh, they did pick her up 
to do Cheetah. Um, there's a lot of people who are like, oh, she's a comedian, that won't work, and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I mean, there's a lot of co- comedians. There's a lot of comedians who are also known for uh, dramatic uh, roles, too. That's kind of like a another side to comedians that nobody knows. Like, they have dramatic sides of... Uh, I'm not saying if you know that they're good all the time, but for one, uh, Jim Carrey, you know, we all know, you know, does comedic stuff, but then he also did dramatic stuff. I don't know if anyone saw uh, that movie, Number Thirteen, did other stuff too. Then you got Bill Murray, and there, I don't know if anyone would think of him as a comedian, but I mean, he was on SNL. Uh, Bill Murray was on SNL, wasn't he? Shit, unless I'm getting him confused with uh, uh, Dan Aykroyd, but um. Anyways, well, I mean, of course, Dan Aykroyd was on there. But anyways, uh, uh, Bill Murray, uh, also, uh, who else can I name? Robin Williams. Um, can probably name a few others. But, I mean, Kristen Wiig, I, I don't think that's really a bad choice. And I think, I've said this before, too. People should shut up when it comes to these casting things. Because everyone's like, oh, blah, 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 blah. I mean, they've, you've said this, like, hundreds of times for hundreds of castings that have proven to, you know, be either great or not that bad uh for one ben affleck as batman i personally didn't say anything online i just thought it was weird when they first uh cast him or when he was first announced to be cast as batman and honestly the first thing i could think about was um daredevil but now to me i i i don't like the what he's been given uh to do as Batman, but I think he does make a good Batman, a good Bruce Wayne. Uh, the same thing when Chris Evans was uh, cast as uh, Captain America, everyone's all like, oh, he was a human torch, this thing, blah, blah, blah. I mean, look, he's, he ended up being perfect for Captain America. Same thing with the, I guess, one of the biggest ones that can shut everybody up in an instance is, well, some people say no, but I think it's mostly trolls, and that's going to be uh, Heath Ledger's uh, Joker in the, in the Dark Knight. Um, but there's, there's other ones. I mean, I can go on, but, uh, just to let you guys know, Kristen Wiig for, uh, Wonder Woman 2, uh, as Cheetah, that's, uh, she's in talk, so we'll see what happens there. Let's go with games now. Uh, I don't think I talked as much games the last time, but I have some pretty, uh, interesting pieces here. One of them, uh, PSVR, if any of you guys have it, I know it's on sale now, if I'm correct, for like 200 bucks or something. Uh... PlayStation VR does have some cool stuff. I haven't spent a lot of time on it on it like I've wanted to. Uh, I do have a PlayStation VR. But uh, one game that I thought was pretty cool that I saw was announced it was on April 3rd. They're coming out with a Crisis on the Planet of the Apes. So it's going to be a Planet of the Apes uh, VR game where, uh, from what I saw, a really quick uh, overview is that you're, you're supposed to be like escaping a research f- facility. I don't know if you're playing an uh, ape. Uh, or human, I assume you're playing a human, uh, but that just seems interesting as hell. Um, there was some other PSVR uh, stuff that was announced too, but I, I didn't really didn't uh, look uh, too much into those. But this one was one of the ones that stood out to me. Um, another one, uh, AR games. Uh, if you're still playing Pokemon Go, if you're interested in AR games, because I know uh, the 3DS had some AR games too. There's a Ghost if you're a fan of Ghostbusters, uh, not the reboot, but Ghostbusters in general, there's a Ghostbusters uh, AR game that's going to be coming out called Ghostbusters World, and uh, actually, if I'm correct, there's a beta sign up, I don't know if the beta already started, but if you're interested in that, uh, I saw some screenshots of the gameplay, Uh, I saw Slimer and stuff, but uh, just look up Ghostbusters uh, or Ghostbuster World on Facebook, and uh, they should have a beta sign up there, because from what I saw, there is a beta that started or is going to start. But I know uh, you can sign up for that. One more piece of uh, news. This was interesting as hell to me. Uh, who's ever wanted to play... Uh, okay, so let's say you're a PlayStation uh, 4 fan like me, Sony guy. And uh, you've always wanted to kick your friend's ass on uh, Call of Duty, but... They're a Microsoft Xbox guy. Well, Microsoft uh, is, uh, I think it's already released, uh, support on the uh, on the Xbox One uh, to cross-play with PlayStation 4 players. Now, the tricky thing is that, from what I read and from what I understood, is that on the Microsoft side, they're going to be able to go ahead and play with players 
on the PlayStation, but now there needs to be the allowance, I guess, for the PlayStation and the Sony guys to be able to do it, you know, to be a, to be able to allow to do it the other way around or from the other side. So uh, it, it, this is interesting to me because now you can see that this is at least one step forward uh, to getting a cross uh, platform support, uh, which is interesting as hell. Cause I mean, that's, that's pretty cool. I mean, just think of the, I mean, just thinking about it. I mean, I don't even have to say it. I mean, it's just, that's just awesome. I mean, we all have, I'm pretty sure we all have uh, gamer friends who don't play, you know, who aren't on the same system team that you are, um, or maybe you just have that one friend, but I mean, to even have this possibility, uh, come up or to have a step, uh, forward in the in the possibility uh, is uh, is pretty cool, so there's a lot to look forward to, uh, you know, as a, as a gamer, uh, whether you're a Sony fan or an, uh, or a Microsoft fan. Um, but yeah, I thought that was pretty good news. Um, that's all I have this week. I really wanted to talk more Avengers, but I really couldn't. I didn't want to force anything out. That's pretty much all I wanted to say. I'm just super excited for Infinity War. Uh, it's crazy because some of the merch came out. Um, I don't know if you guys saw the uh, Infinity War, the Hasbro Infinity War uh, replica uh, glove, the gauntlet. If any of you guys saw the gauntlet, but uh, that went on sale, and it's crazy because I know uh, some places sold out. And if you go on eBay, you can find it for like double the price because um, it's like a, a, a yeah life size uh, replica. It looks pretty cool, and there's a whole bunch of other figures that came out too. Uh, supposedly, well, no, not supposedly. There's a I saw it. There's a Iron Man figure that came out that shows him with new armor. So this might hit at the you know hit hint at some uh some new armor that we see in the movie sometimes though there's there's they release these figures with like extra shit that doesn't even appear anywhere um for instance i had bought some uh captain america figures from which i still have in the package uh from captain america the first avenger and they came with all this extra shit and of course they didn't use it in the movies um but we all know what I'm talking about. It's like a like Wolverine with like a fucking uh, mutant blaster or some shit. And you're like, actually, I'm looking at it right now. It's like I have a Wolverine uh, X-Men Classics figure. And he has like some kind of fucking claw cannon. But, of course, he doesn't use that in the comics. And he doesn't use that in the cartoon. He's never used that in the movies. So it's just extra shit. But that Iron Man armor they had uh, was pretty crazy. Um, but usually these MCU figures, these the collectible ones at least, are pretty... Uh, are pretty on with what's going on but uh that's all i wanted to say if you guys uh, have anything to say uh news wise that i didn't touch up on that maybe i can talk about next episode like i said anything i talk about on any episode hit me up i'll talk about it anything that i didn't talk about i'll talk about it um it's all about the conversation uh hit me up even if you want to you can use the hashtag uh, convo breaker on facebook facebook or on instagram and i'll uh, i'll find you and just one more time, we're on Spotify, we're on iTunes, uh, we're on your uh, podcast apps on iOS and Android. Hit me up on ConvoBreaker at gmail.com. Hit me up on Facebook at ConvoBreaker uh, Geek, Pod- Geek Podcast or on Instagram, ConvoBreakerGP. Or on my personal Instagram, you can follow me there too. I post all kinds of music and geek-related stuff uh, at MV7.0. So that's MV7, spell out point and the zero and uh, that's it i'll see you guys next week hopefully uh i see some feedback i just want to say hello to everyone who's liked the page i uh, have a lot of new followers on there i mean uh, yeah a lot of new followers on facebook so hi to everybody i appreciate it and uh if you like what you hear and you like the content i post uh share me with your friends and uh I'll see you next week later